Hello everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play The Messenger. In today's episode, we are going to be exploring a little bit of the crags. But it's going to require us to go all the way down first. Going down a super far way. Let's walk over this way. Unlock a fast travel point, which is huge. We love that for us. But now... We're going to go back up here. Ah, there we go. We're gonna go back up here and talk to Coltus in Susus. I kind of did this in a bad order, but ah, what the hell? It's all right. We're chilling. Look at that. So while we're here. Excuse me. What's up, little guy? Can I use a corner of your flower bed? I have a seed to plant. I don't see why not. Concerns, Coles? None, Susus. Be our guest, little guy. Boom. So we planted the astral seeds. Now, I need to double check. There is one right there. And I believe it's in the future. And that leads to a... Something. I don't know. So it's only those two. Okay, cool. Let's head back. Wait a minute. No, let's not head back, actually. Let's talk to these two. Hey, it's the little guy again. What is up? I have your power thistle. Huh? Hey, he's not kidding, Kolos. See? So I see, Susus. Never mind how you pulled this off, little guy. Throw it into the stew. You think of what I'm thinking, Kolos? Oh, this is where it gets serious, Susus. It's chugging time. I guess, isn't it like canonical that heat does not impact Cyclopes? I'm satiated, Susus. I'm content, Kolos. Shall we test how strong it made us? It's all I crave. Don't move, little guy. Well, now I need some sleep. I reckon, Kolos. Thanks for everything, little guy. Hell yeah. And there we go. We have now landed in a new area of the Searing Crags. <laughs> Should probably add that little tidbit just so, you know. Ow. There we go. But yes, this is how we get our next... Uh, big, uh, item. What is down here? I'm a little concerned. Oh, actually, it's the way we're supposed to go. Never mind. I'm, I'm, ne I'm no longer concerned. There we go. And just like that. Got another music note. You got the key of strength. Forced into being by Colos and Seuss's physical feats, it is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. So there you go. There is that note that we could have gotten a long time ago. Uh, I'm gonna go down really quick. Oh, I'm krilling myself. Don't mind me. Sorry, I just want health. That's why I came over here. Even though I realize now I could have gotten health by just going down, it's fine. There we go. We're gonna go down to get this... I'm not missing anything, am I? Okay, we have to go... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in there. It's fine. I figured it out. So... Ow. There we go. We do have to travel a tiny bit. So we can get the... Um, where is it? Okay, it is in here. There it is. I was like, I know there's a 
a time travel thing here nearby. <laughs> My god, can't believe I dodged that. That's crazy. That trick feels so wrong, and yet so right. Okay. Here it is, our trial that I've already failed. What the hell? We're fine? We take these? We just damage boost, honestly. <laughs> so, through some of these trials, it's like, you might as well damage boost. Also, there's the cool little uh, no ninja power seal smash. Oops. There we go. All right, let's go back to the top now. I know I'm doing this kind of in a weird order, but it's fine. Okay, there is health, huge. I know I'm doing this in a strange order, but bear with me. There is obviously a much more optimal way of doing all this stuff. Wait, what? Uh, yeah, whatever. We'll just we'll go the long way, I guess. Sag. Eh. Where is... Is there... Okay, it's up here. Because there's a lot of ways you can go. Just double checking everything. Oh. There's a vertical section right here? No, okay, my game was just freaking out. It was like, wait a minute, what are you doing? Okay, so down here is the time shard deposit, which puts us really close to uh, Path of Resilience, which is what we love. Now, okay, that is 8-bit only, that makes sense. Hello? Okay. We're almost back to the top, which is where I want to be. Okay, I'm just I'm just double checking and making sure I'm not like skipping something on accident. Cause I've done that before, like in previous recordings. Or like previous let's plays, where I'm like, yeah, we're gonna go get this really cool thing, and then it's like I never go check it out. And everyone's like, hey man, what the fuck are you doing, dude? Alright. To the top. So we can get our Astral T. Because, can't let Colos and Seussis have all the fun. You got the Astral T leaves. The Ninja Elder should know what to do with these. Cool. Okay, now we're gonna do another thing and that's take damage and by that I mean no well we are taking quite a bit of damage and it is fine okay so the reason why I went to the second shrine first is because you can also run on lava with the light foot tabbies let me guess your name's pyro that's me how did you get so close to the underworld if you can't stand fire Oh, the irony, right? To be honest, I don't remember, but I do have to get back to my workstation. Thanks for snapping me out of it. Just remember to hold our trigger. And once again, these little droplets from the ceiling, you cannot hit them, because uh, they do not count as projectiles. So keep that in mind. Right, we're big chilling. Okay. Whoa, there we go. We are now back in the underworld, which we are missing three relics for, or not relics, power seals for. Which are all right there, because I, I am really good at reading. They're all right here, so not too far out of our way. Okay, it's up above. Now, when you do these, please understand 
I'm dead. That's crazy. They're hard. So don't feel bad if you die a couple times. Yeah, do we have to go up? Okay. Oh, oh shit. If I could have just clutched like a god, we would have been fine. Anyway. Here's going to be the first location for our power seals. There are quite a few little things. This honestly isn't that bad. If you just take your time, you'll be okay. Majority of the time, if you just, you know, take your time, a majority of instances, if you take your time, you're, you're going to be okay. So now we fall all the way back down. Great. Awesome. It's another power seal in the books, or in the bag, I guess. Now, you may notice Underworld in 8-bit version is a lot tougher than Underworld in 16-bit. Um, now, we aren't going to go down there yet. I know we can walk on lava, but we're not going to go down there yet. We got to go get these power seals first, and then we'll go walk on lava. <sighs> so close. Yo? <laughs> what the hell? Is that... Is this nothing? I could have sworn this was something. Ow. Alright. Oh, right, you dummy. You can... You can literally walk on lava, bro. Worth chilling. I'm just dumb. Alright. Now this is tricky because you can't you can't really tell unless you've been breaking the blocks. But these are breakable. Okay. Now if you take your time, once again, you can just dash across them. Okay, when was the last save? I think it is worth it to just take the damage. Boop. It's a little little time save. Okay, gotta go all the way back down. Did those guys spawn last time, or am I hallucinating? Or is this one of Grandpa's hallucinations? Alright, let's go this way, because we have now gotten all of the power seals in this area. <laughs> we haven't gotten all of them, all of them. But we definitely got them all in this area. Okay, another timing puzzle. I honestly love timing puzzles in platformers. I don't know why. But they, they're just fun. This one's a little yikers, but it's fine. Okay. I just, God, I love this game. It's so good. In the past, like month or so since I started like recording and um, doing everything I've been doing for this game. I think I've played through the game like a solid now uh, like a solid three times now maybe four this will be four actually this will be number four it's just such a good game like do yourself a favor play it enjoy it have a good time uh, some people play with keyboard, and I think it's a little strange. I just died. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, we're only back here, though, so not a big deal. Not the biggest deal. Only a slight time loss. But yeah, just play the game, man. It's so good. Platforming's fun. The boss fights are really fun, and experiencing them for yourself is... It's a treat. Okay, we're gonna slow down a little bit, because I'm trying to go a little too fast, even though I have plenty of time before uh, the episode's, like, over. Yeah, we died at the end. That's so awesome. Oh. Actually, this is the end of the episode. That's so awesome. Alright. 
This is one of our last music notes. It's actually just one of our last things in general. Got the key of chaos. Nature's attempt to contain the underworld's endless mayhem. It is one of the notes needed to create a melody that will break the curse. Now... Bum, bum. You still need to smash 13 power seals. That's not very many. All right, let's upgrade Path Resilience. And now, next time, because we got, oh, we didn't get all of Searing Crags. I left that one. Uh, let's just go there now and do it before I forget. We'll, we'll make this episode a little bit longer. It's okay. It's okay. You guys will live with a little bit of a longer app, I'm sure. I'm sure you won't complain about having a larger... Oh, shoot. God, this one's... Ugh. We're fine. Look at that. Power seal collected. And in no time at all. Took no time at all. That one can be tricky, though. Like, it's so well hidden that you're just kind of like, all right, man, what the hell? Okay. Next time, though, for real, for real, we are going to go back to the Howling Grotto, get the last two power seals. Uh, but first, we're going to go to Quillstroom Marsh, because there are exactly two power seals left for me. Actually, I think it makes sense to go back to the catacombs and go through the dark caves. So we're going to do that. It's a little bit, you know, unorthodox, our, uh, our routing, but it'll be okay. So, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.